Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today I'm going to do something really interesting, or at least I think it's interesting. I have regular dal, chawal and aloo ka bhaji for lunch and I want to make it different, make it unique. So I'm going to make it into a scotch egg. Yep, you got that right and if you're wondering, wait and watch how I do it. If you don't know what dal chawal is, please google it. If you don't know what a scotch egg is, please google that as well. Okay, just kidding. A scotch egg is basically a delicious soft boiled egg which is covered in minced meat and then breaded and deep fried. And when you cut it open, the juicy yellow oozes out. And dal chawal, well dal is basically lentils cooked with onions and tomatoes into a nice creamy gravy. And chawal is basically rice. And aloo bhaji, well that's just aloo bhaji. So to start, I'm going to make a soft boiled egg using dal and rice. I've covered my cutting board with some cling film and I'm going to put my rice onto that. And this is just plain white boiled rice. And now I'm going to just mash it all together. And you want to mash it really well. You can also use a potato masher if you have one. And you can see it's starting to stick together. And that's exactly what we want. Next, I'm going to put in some dal that I've kept in the fridge for a long time. So it becomes almost like a jelly-like substance. And that's just dal that's been lying in the fridge. Next, we fold this up. Just fold that in. Basically, you want to make an egg like shape, and you can take off some of the excess rice, but you want it to bind together nicely like that. And now we're going to put that in the fridge for 15 minutes to set. Next, for the meat part of the scotch eggs, I'm using this delicious yellow aloo, which you can learn how to make by just clicking on it. Click, 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 click. Anyway, so I'm going to start by just mashing the aloo ka bhaji in the bowl itself. I want almost like a mashed potato texture. And then I just pour it out. And then I'm going to mash it some more. Mash it really well. And spread it out. Next, we place our dal chawal egg in the middle of that. And using the cling film, we're going to wrap it up. Just let the cling film do the work. It's quite delicate, so be very careful. Wrap it up in the cling film and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes to set. So now it's time to batter coat our dal chawal scotch egg. And we're going to use the traditional flour, egg wash and instead of breadcrumbs, I'm using semolina flour or rava as we call it in India. Just to give it a slightly different texture. So you dip it in the flour. Gently make sure it's covered all over. Dust off the excess flour. Dip it in the egg wash. And then into the rava. I'm going to dip this in again one more time. Double dip it. Pour some more semolina flour over it. Make sure it's coated really well, all sides. And then we put it in the fridge to chill again. Now we get our oil on the gas and get it nice and hot and ready to deep fry. Now that our oil is hot enough, we're going to deep fry our dal chawal scotch egg.
and you want it to cook nicely from all sides. That looks like it's about done. Let's get it out of the oil now. Once it's done and a lovely golden brown, serve it with some papad and some kachumbal. That looks delicious. Now it's time for the moment of truth to cut into this and see how it is. Well, that does look quite good. Let's give it a taste. So now it's time to taste this. And I'm just going to use my hands. Mm. That is tasty, I have to say. So I did okay. I didn't achieve exactly what I wanted to. I was hoping to cut it open and I was hoping the dal would ooze out like the egg yellow. But this is just my first attempt and I'm hoping with a few more tries I will master this. Please leave me your suggestions on how you think I can improve on this or how I might be able to achieve the perfect, well, the perfect yellow runny dal that I was expecting. Maybe I should have just fried it for a little longer. Maybe I should have blended the rice. I don't know. Help me out. Leave me your suggestions in your comments and I'll try and nail this the next time. But till then, I'm just going to eat it. It is tasty. Dal, rice, potato, papad, kachumbar, deep fried. How could you go wrong? Bye bye.